to Seattle, so we're halfway there. So thank you, Minneapolis, for being so far. St. Paul, Twin Cities, oh my god, I'm getting old. <laughs> for um, being so warm and hosting us and also your amazing work, I just feel very lucky. I think poetry is um, a, 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 a place where we share so much of ourselves with each other, and I'm just deeply grateful to be here. So. Um, um, I just wanted to say a couple of things. I, I wrote little notes. Um, um, I'm really gratified to be on this trip with uh, Jess and Paul because they write about similar things. We, we all contend with history. We contend with trauma. We write about, um, like in varying degrees, we try to attempt to write about love. And um, um, we also sort of like in the writing, especially even talking about, you know, um, like Paul and I are both Vietnamese American and we both uh, experienced um, sexual violation. It's it's helped me to feel, you know, in spaces in the, like the car and in spaces like this that um, I am not alone and people out there are also not alone. So thank A study confirms a pattern. He loved you in the same way he loved his mother. You pulled your pajama pants off in the dark. The carpet scratched at your back. You came to anticipate him, his strange and brown weight, and in dreams, your teeth plucked whole from your gums. And did your cousin ever kiss you? The lights dim. The plate glass window was cold against my forehead. I don't recall being sick. His hand brushed against my breast as I passed in the hall. I was 10, 11. The body's disorderly circuitry. The page flipped and I saw a picture of myself with a swollen eye. It was a dream, which signifies what? His thumb was crooked, double-jointed rather, and it hurt. Minus pleasure. What we experienced was, on one hand, a kind of rape. There is no other hand but the one he used to palm my stomach. Except with him, I wasn't there. I was a border, and he crossed. I filled up with fog in the summer heat. His eyes were cool and lanced right through me. He ate French bread with butter and sugar, ate soft boiled eggs. He kissed me and took off my pants. He apologized and kissed me again. His tongue kept moving and I didn't understand. I punched and punched him. He laughed even into my dreams. In school, I willed him away. A cut penis severed into vanishing. The image came back. My mother whispered, she's afraid of ghosts. She said, he's just playing with you and stroked my forehead. Not by force, just in the dark. No threat, just shh. And sometimes I liked it. No injury, no threat. Sent my brother to the kitchen to check the toast. It was winter. My cousin lay on top. My brother watched. My brother would not leave watching even as the toaster pinged. I was four, I was eight, I was 12. Then he married and I was flower girl at the wedding. He wore cotton to wick away sweat, wore the scent of pomade, preferred dry foods to soups, spoke English broken and baritoned, lived in a refugee camp and waited for a sponsor. My father's nephew, he lived in my house for eight years took me to the Griffith Observatory, to the Southwest Museum. 
While I slept, my cousin placed his mother's mask on me, asked me if I loved him. He wore wolf ears. I willed him to hear the change in atmosphere, the tilt of the air. No. His fingers slid under the white underwear. The air was cool, but my face on fire. I wore my woman's mask. Underneath, I was 10 years old. When he kissed me, the edges of our magnetic fields touched. Inside, my heart compressed into a black hole. Story. If every cell inside my brain is replaced every seven years, then why can't I excise this? He moved his tongue into my mouth. I sat in my Catholic skirt, the Listerine and smoked cigarettes. His tongue like a slug that turned in my mouth. My stories an arrow pointing back to this, back to when he curved my palm around his sex. My child hand has not grown up since then. My story's a series of pent up men. I lie with them and suck back my tongue. In my chest is a neon portrait of the sacred heart. It lights up every time I am touched.